Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to another video. So today we are going over another example. All right, this one's a cantilevered beam with a distributed load and a uh, an applied moment at the very end. All right. Also, it's backwards. So, um, but it doesn't make a difference. We'll see. All right. Let's let's just work through it. All right. First thing to do: always solve for reactions. Right? Reactions. What are they? Can you identify them? Pause the video to find out. All right, okay, so let's suppose we just call this point A and call this point B, right? There's B, BY, right? And then BX, and then finally, let's assume counterclockwise as positive. So we got moment about B, okay? Those three are your reactions. Fixed supports always have three, okay? And then to find the reactions, well, let's find sum of forces first. Sum of forces in the y direction setting upwards equals positive equals zero. So we have two times nine from the distributed load, and then mm, and then this is negative because it's going down, plus by equals zero. So by equals 18 kilonewtons. All right, simple as that. So that's your by. What about bx? I mean mb. Well, we can do BX too, uh, but since there's no horizontal uh, forces in the system, you can kind of tell BX would just be equal to zero. All right. So finally, sum of moments around B. How do we find this MB value? Right. So we set that equal to zero. Counterclockwise equals positive, and we do two times nine, the distributed load, times half of nine, the distance. Right. If we're replacing this with a uh, an equivalent distributed load in the middle, right? So it would be 18 and then acting at 4.5. All right, that's how I got that number. Um, okay. And since this is spinning the beam counterclockwise, it's positive, right? And then don't forget this 18 here, right? Which way is the 18 spinning it? It's spinning it clockwise, so it's negative, right? Minus 18. And then that don't forget the the moment about this point is zero if you include this moment about b so don't forget about that all right and since this is going counterclockwise too it's positive and then that equals zero all right so if you add these all together uh that's 4.5 times 9 times 2 right 81 minus 18 63 right so mb and then move that to the other side equals negative 3 Right. So what this means is that if we just really just redraw this right over here, right? If we just reassign this, right? This is acting this way. That's uh, 63. By equals 18. Okay. Uh, I like to redraw it in this step. But you don't have to. You can just keep the negatives, right? Once you found the reactions. So shear force and bending moment diagrams. How do we draw them, right? Um, we can do it one of two ways. But I will show you the graphical method. And if you guys are up to it, um, I can definitely go over from the beginning actually how to really use the equations to kind of look at these. Um, it's not too bad, but this way is much faster. All right. So let's just go over this. Shear force diagram in kilonewtons and then bending moment diagrams also in kilonewtons, okay? I mean, not also in kilonewtons, kilonewton meters, okay? So, first thing we do, um, some forces, right? Uh, no forces at the end, so starting from zero and going like this, down, right? Negative 18, all right? Um, if you're not sure, this is just the distributed load, right? If you, if you, if you're not sure about any point, just cut it and find a load here, and you'll see like a few dots here and there. But it's a straight line to negative 18, and then since you have neg uh, 18 going up at this point, it just goes back to zero, right? So that's your shear force diagram. Let me move bending moment diagram down a bit. Okay. So first off, uh, defend find bending moment diagram, excuse me, we need to find the area under the shear force diagram, okay? Now, 
um, we can solve that pretty easily because it's negative 18 and then this distance is 9 meters right so we can do 18 times 9 times a half right so 18 times 9 times 9.5 I guess we get 81 okay so uh, what we can do from that point is just to just to clear things up a bit right if you're looking at the beam like this right and you cut it very close you have 18 going this way right how much moment would you need here to balance it out you need 18 right and since positive sign convention never forget I don't think I've mentioned this in the past videos but in case you forget um, positives in shear moments diagrams are defined like this right so make sure to keep that in mind um, it's depending on which side you cut it but this side we're cutting it from the right side so which means that this this counterclockwise direction is defined as positive therefore it's positive 18 right so we are going up 18 right this negative area this negative area is 81 all right so if we add up all this area here to the very end we should get 18 minus 81 right that's negative 63 so let's say it's all the way down here right and there has to be some sort of line connecting it all right now going back to this, um, this graphical method you'll have to get a sense of it but small area equals less steep right more area equals more steep right so what would that essentially look like that would look something like ooh, I kind of missed the mark but that's okay something like this right from a less steep slope at the beginning because it's it's less negative right less negative area and then more negative area as we keep going so more steep right so that's how you draw and I guess some questions you might have is this is this required for the majority of the time no it's not right just just ignore it you'll be fine right uh, unless your professor asks for it then it's another case um, you'll have to use the equations probably to find any intersection but yeah um, hope that helped uh, there's nothing really to this problem I'm sure uh, you've seen it all from the previous videos as well, so I'll just keep this one short. So again, uh, if you have any questions as always, please feel free to post that in the comment section below. And um, yeah, I'll see you next video.